हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर्मूला इन एक्सेल व्हिच इज बीइंग यूज्ड बाय ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द कॉर्पोरेट्स आउट देयर बट वेरी फ्यू प्रोफेशनल्स नो हाउ टू एफिशिएंटली यूज दिस पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मूला एंड द नेम ऑफ द फॉर्मूला इज इफ फॉर्मूला सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एवरीथिंग अबाउट इफ फॉर्मूला राइट फ्रॉम द बेसिक क्वेश्चंस टू सम ऑफ द एडवांस्ड क्वेश्चंस लाइक यूजिंग मल्टीपल इफ्स इन अ सिंगल क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज नोन एज नेस्टेड इफ एंड आल्सो वी विल लर्न एन एडवांस्ड वेरिएंट ऑफ इफ फॉर्मूला व्हिच इज द इफ्स फॉर्मूला सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेक मल्टीपल कंडीशंस मल्टीपल सिनेरियोस मल्टीपल एग्जांपल्स एंड आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू ईच एंड एवरीथिंग इन डिटेल सो जस्ट स्टे अलोंग विद मी थ्रू आउट दिस वीडियो एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो गाइस इफ यू हैव बीन फॉलोइंग माय सीरीज दिस इज वीडियो 4 ऑफ माय सीरीज एक्सेल फॉर फाइनेंस प्रोफेशनल the major purpose behind coming out with such a series is that i have seen that there are almost 35000 plus jobs out there who are actively looking for excel as a core skill in professional but very few professional know how to use all the key functions and key formulas efficiently so in this entire series i will take you step by step right from understanding the basics to understanding some of the data cleaning processes like in the previous video we had started our data cleaning process and the data analysis process in this particular video we are going to start from where we ended our last video and now we are going to do in depth analysis of this particular data set which we have so if you want to practice in this particular data set you can get this data set in the description i will attach a link and you can just click on that particular link and you can download the file so this data set is mainly a service data set wherein we have the transaction date invoice number i uh, here we had calculated the invoice number revised in the last video we have the customer names we have the services which they have taken the units the unit price of the services and the total amount and this is basically the payment due date and whether we have got the payment or not this entire column is representing that so the first thing which you are going to do is we are going to insert an automated remark in this particular excel sheet so what is that automated remark like here you can see in column number h we have the list of sales amount right which is varying from somewhere around 800 or 900 i think we have 500 also varying from around 300 to 500 till i think the highest amount will be around 9000 or 10000 right so we have this entire amount so what we are going to do over here is we are going to add automated response based on the number which is there in this column h so what i will do is i'll just add a column over here so the most efficient way to add column in excel is just select the entire column and press on control shift plus key so if control shift plus key works on your excel well and good if it doesn't then use control and plus key it will work so in my laptop control shift plus key works so that's the reason i have used control shift plus and i have inserted a column i will write over here remark 1 so we are going to write multiple remarks so right now we are going to write the first remark so our first remark will be that if the sales amount is more than 5000 i want the output as more than average and if the sales amount are less than equal to 5000 i want the output as less than average so i'll just write the condition over here so that you can refer it later on so the question is that if your sales is more than 5000 i want the output as more than average but if the sales amount is less than equal to 5000 i want the output as less than average i'm just taking a random example like what matters is your understanding whether you are able to understanding this particular question or not so now we are going to solve this particular question many a times people get confused and they ask me they trajat we are not sure when to use if formula when to use sum if formula when to use other formulas which are there in excel and how to memorize a particular formula so i keep on telling them that guys if you are watching this particular series you don't need to memorize even a single formula which is there in excel every formula has logic behind it and even excel will help you write a particular formula i'll show you how so if you have a question where you need to get an answer based on a condition if you need to get an answer based on a condition then in that case always and always use if formula so if formula as the name goes is it basically tells you that if this is satisfied then what is the answer which we will be getting or if this is not satisfied if a condition is not satisfied then what is the answer which we require 
that's what we need to mention or we need to give it to excel and then excel will give us the automated answer so i will just type equal if once i type equal if you can see that there are three syntaxes in an if formula the first is logical test second is value if true third is value if false so logical test basically means that what are we testing right now we are testing whether this sales amount which is cell h2 is my sales cell right whether it is more than 5000 or not i will give a comma if the sales amount is more than 5000 then what is value if true what is the answer which we require if our logical test is satisfied we require our answer as more than average so this is nothing this is basically the text which will be getting in the answer wherever the sales amount will be more than 5000 i will give a comma and value if false is nothing value if false is basically if it is not more than 5000 if it is say less than equal to 5000 there can be only one exception right either a number can be more than 5000 or the number can be less than equal to 5000 so if it is less than equal to 5000 then what is the answer which we require we require the answer as less than average inverted commas closed bracket closed enter my this statement is automated i will just double click over here my flash fill will be applied and this formula will be replicated across all the cells and here you can see my sales is more than 5000 so i'm getting the answer as more than average here also the same here also the same so if you have a lack line items data set you don't need to write these kind of responses manually you just need to understand this particular formula and your life will be sorted now let's see another scenario in this particular question let's say if instead of these two remarks if i want to make it more complicated or make it more automated so i'll show you the example what i'm trying to say so i'm trying to say is if sales is more than 7000 i want the output as extra ordinary sales right extraordinary sales if it is more than 7000 but if sales is between 4000 to 7000 i want the answer as good sales but if sales is less than 4000 i want the output as below average sales now here are the three conditions which we require just think mentally so in an if formula what exactly did we do we checked a single condition right and we had to type if this particular condition is satisfied what is the true answer which we require or what is the false answer which we require but in this case do you think whether we will be able to solve it using this particular if formula the answer is no why the answer is no let's say just think mentally i will solve everything but right now just think mentally in the logical test i will type if sales is more than 7000 then i want answer as value of true as extraordinary sales but in value of false let's say if sales is not more than 7000 then there are two answers which are possible what are the two answers first answer is good sale because sales can be between 4000 to 7000 second is below average sales because sales can also be less than 4000 so in such a scenario we cannot solve this particular question using a single if formula we need to use two if formula in this and whenever we use more than one if formula in a particular question we name it as nested if i'm pretty sure you must have heard the word nested if many times in your uh, student life or in your professional journey but it is very very simple people have made a hype out of it but it is very very simple i'll show you how we can do it i'll insert a column over here and i will rename it as remark 2 right so i'll type the formula equal if in the logical test first i will check whether my sales is more than 7000 right if it is more than 7000 i want the output as extraordinary sales so in the previous question what i was doing is within inverted commas i was writing the output which i require but this time i will directly select the particular cell which i want the output this is known as selecting the cell referencing this i have already covered in my last to last video which was about absolute relative and mixed referencing now if the sales value is not more than 7000 what are the possibilities which are possible there are two possibilities which are possible the sales can be between 4 to 7000 or the sales can be less than 4000 so in such a scenario 
we will again have to use another if function another if formula to narrow it down so here our logical test will be i will check that whether my sales amount is more than equal to 4000 this is the second logical test which i am doing whether it is more than equal to 4000 so many a times student get confused in such a scenario they basically say that rajat here it is written between 4 to 7000 why are you only writing more than equal to 4000 why are you not writing and less than equal to 7000 also my simple answer is that the first condition we have already checked right what was the first condition whether it is more than 7000 your excel will come to this particular thing only and only if it is less than equal to 7000 so we don't exactly need to mention the second condition over here here automatically it means whenever i am writing to check whether my sales amount is more than equal to 4000 it basically means that i am checking whether it is between 4000 to 7000 it automatically means so if it is between 4000 to 7000 what is the value of true what is the value which we want we want the value as good sales right i will give a comma now let's say if both these conditions are not satisfied so that basically means that my sales amount is not more than 7000 my sales amount is not even more than 4000 in such a scenario it basically means that my sales amount is less than 4000 in such a scenario i need the output as below average sales i will not use another if formula over here because the only last output which is left is below average sales that's the reason i'll just select that particular cell i'll close the bracket once i will close the bracket twice reason being that i have used two if formula in this particular uh, question so i will close it twice and i will click on enter automatically this question is automated but do you know that once i drag it down i will not get the right answer you will see why you can see that i am not getting the right answer i am getting the right answer over here i am not getting a correct answer over here here if it is more than 7000 i should be getting extraordinary sales right but i am getting good sales and here i am not even getting any answer can someone tell me the reason why i am not getting the correct answer the reason is simple this i have already covered in video number two reason being that relative referencing is kicking in and because of relative referencing i am unable to get the correct answer across all the cells so once i'm dragging this formula down you can see that on the right hand side just focus right now these three cells are selected correctly but once i am going to the next cell your selection is changing your selection is changing and it is coming to a cell down 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 that's the reason you're not getting the correct answer so in order to do so what i will do is i will freeze it or i will do absolute referencing the shortcut key to do absolute referencing is f4 key on your keyboard f4 function 4 key so i will freeze this answer i will freeze these two also correct now i will click on enter now once i will drag it down you can see i'm getting the perfect answer right it is coming extraordinary wherever it is more than 7000 it is coming below average wherever it is less than 4000 it is coming good sales if it is between 4 to 7000 this was all about nested if or multiple if question now there is an advanced formula which is there in excel using which we can solve this particular question the name of that formula is ifs so ifs formula as the name goes it basically means that if you need to use multiple if formula in a particular question you don't need to use the nested if bit which we have just learned there is another formula which has come which is ifs ifs so i'll just add a column over here and i will rename this column as remark 3 i'll use the same question which we have just mentioned it over here so i'll type equal ifs ifs so here you can see the syntax of this particular formula is slightly different so first we need to write logical test one then we need to write value if true one let's say i have written both of them then again we need to write logical test two then we need to write value of true two again i need to write logical test three again i will have to mention value of true three okay let's move ahead so this is my uh, sales amount i need to check whether sales is more than seven thousand if it is more than 7000 what is value of true value if true is extraordinary sale 
I want the output as extraordinary sales. I will freeze it right now because I know that I need to do an absolute referencing on this particular cell. I'll give a comma. My second logical test is whether this is more than equal to 4000, right? I'll give a comma. And if the value is true, if it is more than equal to 4000, it basically means it is between 4000 to 7000. I need the output as good sales. I'll give a comma. The third logical test is here you can see here we don't have the option of value if false. Here you need to mention that if your sales is less than 4000 then what is the answer which we require. But in case of nested if we would have just used two if formula and in the false part of the second if formula we would have automatically just selected this below average sales. But in this case we need to write the last condition also. What is that last logical test? The last logical test is whether sales is less than 4000. I will select this whether sales is less than 4000. If it is yes, if it is true, I need the answer as below average sales. I will freeze it. I think I forgot freezing this particular cell P6. I will freeze it. Yeah. Now I will just close the bracket once, click on enter. You can see that I have got the response everywhere and the response is same for remark 2 and remark 3 because these are the two same questions for which the output which we got in two different ways. So guys, that's all in this video. I'm pretty sure you must have loved this video. If you have actually loved this video, don't forget to let me know in the comments and share it with all the finance professionals out there who will benefit something out of this entire series, which I'm trying to create and I'm giving my level best to make sure that this series will be your one stop solution to learn Excel. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time. This is Rajat signing off.